The most important thing is making your drawing look three-dimensional, making it look solid. In other words, like it's occupying space. We'll work on form using these three simple basic shapes, the cube, the sphere, and the cylinder. As we move along, you'll see that every drawing is based on one or more of these three shapes. Here we see a simple handgun, without which there could hardly be any comic books, TV action shows, or movies. And if you ever want to draw a western strip, you'd better take particular note of the fact that the barrel is really a cylinder. The bullet chamber is a cylinder encased in a cube, and the butt itself is based upon the basic shape of a cube. Obviously, the details of the shapes are modified to suit the artist's desire and the drawing's purpose. But the thing to remember is the actual sphere cube cylinder construction beneath the drawing. In fact, every object can be broken down into one or more of these three shapes. Take the automobile. Notice how there's a large cube representing the shape of the body, with a smaller cube denoting the window and roof area. An airplane is equally easy. For me, anyway, I don't have to draw it. The purpose of this is to train you to think through the objects you see. See them as made up of any combination of our three basic shapes, the sphere, the cube, and the cylinder. A very important concept. Just about as important as make mine marvel, of course. Well, now we come to what I'm sure you've been breathlessly waiting for, how everything we've learned relates to the human figure. Notice that in this drawing we use cubes for the rib cage and the hip area, while cylinders form the basic construction of the arms and legs. Even the little band around his thigh follows the form of a cylinder. A few more lines and you've got... Daredevil, one of Marvel's most popular superheroes. Here are some more sphere cylinder cube examples. Do you notice how those shaded drawings look solid? Now, even spheres, cubes, and cylinders can use some embellishment. This is called shading. It gives an object a sense of solidity. Proper shading reinforces the feeling of dimension. We can pause here if you wish, and you can practice what you've learned so far. Or, oh, potential producer of phantasmagoric picture panels, you can grab your ruler, your T-square, and your triangle, because our next topic is...